Hotep, Black Power, everybody. Um, this is the start of my weekly vlog I'll be doing. Uh, this will be a slight replacement for the Science and the WAPO classes I've been doing for the past four years. Decided to put that on hold for a little bit to focus on other things right now. Conference call classes was good and everything was a good run, but for right now, I just want to put that to the side to still learn and focus on some other things. Now, today's subject matter is, or tonight's subject matter really, is dealing with the current gain situation and reaction from black people as a whole. Now, I got a lot of, you know, it was, a, it was pretty good, of course, a lot of outcry for her situation, and a lot of people stood up, and a lot of sisters stood by her side. Of course, that's what sisters do. They stand by each other's side. It's a sisterhood. Black African sisters, that's what you're supposed to have. But what was really troubling was a lot of brothers that it just seemed like they were kind of, they weren't sure. They were saying things like, well, she put her child in danger. You know, it was the camp you, you see with her with the shotgun with the child telling her telling the child that the that the cops are after them and she had the child in her hand, had the shotgun. So it's pretty much her fault, basically. What she should not have done is had the child in her hand. And so my problem with that is this. If you're gonna first off, if you're gonna be be have an outrage for brothers that get shot and killed, then you have to feel the same way for our sisters too. Because there's a lot of brothers, to be honest, that really didn't have Sandra Bland's back. And I noticed that as well last year. But going back to Corinne Gaines, the thing is this. What she was doing, you got to realize these cops were coming there for a warrant for someone else. That was not her warrant number one. See, the big misconception is that she, 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 skipped, she skipped court, she didn't have a warrant, they came after her. Now, first of all, it's not true. And the warrant that was issued was because there were certain papers that was not given to her or her boyfriend. And they didn't have the, they didn't have the papers in the first place. They didn't even know when, when the court case was. So they were coming after her and her family. I think it was specifically her boyfriend, if I'm not mistaken because of something that they failed to give to her and her boyfriend. So it wasn't her fault in the first place on that, on that part. Secondly, you're basically saying that she doesn't have the right to defend herself. They're already in her home. When she's talking to her child, she's basically warning her child about the situation. You mean to tell me with everything going on right now, she's, not, she's doing an innate black woman um, ability which is being a nurturer to her child something's about to happen this is the situation be, be prepared even in the car when you see her on social media when basically she would you know she would film herself she basically would be on social media she'll be in the car and she was basically tell you know this is the situation or she would she would be talking to the cops there's another thing she would talk to the cops and I've seen I've seen brothers say things like well I don't know the way she was talking to the cop. It seemed like that was kind of wrong. I don't think she should have been talking to the cop that way. And it's like, you're basically saying she needs to just shut up and be a coon or be a good slave. I mean, my thing is, is that what you are? That when it comes down to a cop stopping you, you're more worried about your responses and your behavior as opposed to the way that they're going to victimize you and might take your life. So basically, at the end of the day, it's not even about her life being taken. You're basically either on the fence or you're taking the, the, the cop side in the situation. And do realize this, brothers, sisters are looking at y'all responses on social media. Because this is what, I, what, I'm, what I'm getting back. This is my, my report is what I see on social media. And on social media, brothers are saying all types of things. She didn't have her paperwork. I'm like, dude, a lot of y'all are making responses and y'all not even doing your research on the case in the first place. The sister was like, was raw with it, man. She's revolutionary in my book. Brothers are like, that. it's, it's not that deep. It's, it's not. I mean, I'm not saying every brother. There's a lot of brothers that are taking her side. 
that's the thing and i don't and i'm i'm making this to to let people know as well i don't deal with gender immunity meaning that i don't throw one group under the bus one i don't throw males on the bus and not throw sisters on the bus i don't throw anyone on the bus if you're wrong you're wrong whether you're male or female but this is constructive criticism for my brothers because I've always had my brother's side, regardless of the situation, I've always had our side, regardless of what it is. But in this case, y'all got to man up, man. Again, like I said, sisters are reading y'all's comments and y'all looking real bitch made. A lot of y'all are saying things like, well, she should have had her. And you got the brothers that's a part of the MSTA, Morris Temple of America, and some other more saying she didn't know her nationality and this and that. I'm like, what the fuck did, ha did that have to do? Well, what she just went through, it had nothing at all, at all. You can have a nationality all day. These cops are performing genocide, physical genocide on black people. You can have all the paperwork in the world. You can be from whatever country of nationality or Native American nationality or whatever you think you are. They're coming for you. That's reality. They letting you know that they're doing it because this is an everyday thing. So let's stop playing that game about, oh, well, all she had to do was do this. You sound like a cop. You sound like a cop that just shot her. Or you sound like a coon. Truthfully, you sound, y'all are cooning right now. A lot of y'all brothers out there are cooning, and it just sounds really bad. It makes y'all sound really, really bad to the, to the sisters out there. Like, basically, they out here protecting us, doing whatever they can to bend their back over for us and, and put themselves in the harm's way. Because I've seen, you know... I, our sister, you know, Crystal Muhammad, she out there, Black Panther Party. Uh, my sister Patrice from uh, Hut, Houston Union Tribe, shout out. Out there on the front line, man, 10 toes deep, boots to the ground. But when it's time for you to say, you know what? No, she was, she was in the right. Fuck them. You ain't got nothing to say or you criticizing her? That makes you look like you don't have your, the sisters back over all, black man. You, that makes you look real weak. So you got to correct that about yourself. Bottom line, just correct that about yourself at the end of the day. And all we need to do at the end of the day, man, is just look at the things that we're saying. The things that we're saying sometimes just don't, it just doesn't sound right. Have your people's back because at the end of the day, whites are circling their wagons. You understand? And you can't circle your wagons if you're trying to figure out if this is right, if this is justified. Because even if whites are wrong, you don't see whites come out in public and demonize other white people. If they're wrong, they might say it to them in private, but it's not going to be in public. That's called white codification. We have to have black codification where if you out of code, something's wrong with you. We have to create a code for us to deal with. So I just want to um, close out, shout out to um, my goddess, Brittany Kilgore, shout out to Houston Union Tribe, Hut, Black Power, Hotel Family.